Hey, so I just finished watching the new Scream movie. Uh, that would be Scream 5, the one that came out this year in 2022. Uh, I'm literally in the theater right now. Oh, okay, I guess they're going to play music now. Uh, I hope that's not copyright claimed. Uh, there's no end credit scene or anything, by the way. I I feel like it's very a very problematic issue. My very controversial opinion on the movie is that I feel it's not as good as the first four. And I know a lot of people hated three, and I actually think three is just as good as the first four. Uh, if there were any out of the four I disliked, it might have been four, just because it felt like the only reason why they made it was because it had been a while, and it kind of felt like the same thing with this one. This one just felt like it was just four again and just one again. And this one just felt like it took the formula of one and four and just literally did a copy-paste to both of those. And it's not as funny or violent or action-packed as the first four, and I know that 3 wasn't super violent, but it at least had enough meta humor to make up for it. And I don't know, this one just kind of felt a little more lame than the first four. There's some magic that Wes Craven had to it that is kind of lost. And I know I was kind of disappointed with Ray or Not, even though I feel like that's a better film than this film by a large margin. Uh, I don't know, it's just this film is disappointing. And I was already worried about it going in. It's still a much better film than I thought it was going to end up being. It was a lot of fun. It still was funny. It it still isn't scary. None of the Scream films, I feel, are even remotely scary. This one's definitely the most violent of the four, apart from the first one. It just goes through the same beats as the first movie. It kind of feels like The Matrix Resurrections in that sense. Uh, it is fun, but sadly it's extremely predictable since it is repeating the first film. And you have a sense that you know where it's going even before it goes there. Uh, some of the dialogue is a little cringy. Uh, I had a problem with, like, how they used some things. I felt like some character choices were extremely dumb, where if this is supposed to be said in the real world where, like... People are aware of all these horror movies and they don't make the stupid mistakes. One character, like, just after saying, no, I don't want to go with you because I'm worried you'd kill me, goes out, out on his own and does something that gets him killed because he's a dumb idiot. And that was the most infuriating scene of the movie. I was like, if this is not a fake out, I'm going to be so mad. And then it wasn't a fake out and I was so mad. I like that they did do fake outs. And that they did reference, like, how horror got better in recent years with elevated horror. But they never did anything with the elevated horror. They just did all their, like, cold takes that weren't remar remotely, like, controversial of, like, Oh, remember how everybody says Last Jedi sucks? Yeah, I guess we'll just agree with the masses on that one. And, oh, don't you just hate toxic fans? Yeah, everyone does. So it just never really makes any controversial stances. And just feels kind of boring because of it. It never takes any risks. It always does the safe thing. And it's really disappointing because of that. I heard everyone say that this was the best Scream movie since the first one. It's definitely not. The last three Scream movies took risks. The, th the second movie, as much as I hated it the first time I watched it, it took so many risks. It killed off everyone's favorite character. Spoiler alert. But, like, at least that was a huge risk that going against the audience like that. Like, you have to respect the balls of doing that. And this one does nothing like that. It does every single thing you expect it to do. No, I won't say what it does, because the movie came out recently and I don't want to spoil it, but it's every single plot beat that you could have predicted that it'll go down, where it's like, oh, it's the first movie, but it's different, but also the same. It's the exact same thing you'd expect. So yeah, overall, it's very enjoyable. I'd be down to watch it again, but not too soon. But you'd have a better time just re-watching the first one for the billionth time. And, like, as a huge fan of the series, I even enjoyed the TV show better. This, as the movie pointed out, feels like a half-hearted fan fiction. So it's, like, just kind of a disappointment. It's, it's not as bad as the last season of Scream. It's definitely better than that. But I'd probably rank it, like, just above that and everything else is better than this. 
So yeah, it's it's that yeah. It's that underwhelming. Like it's definitely way better than that last season of Scream, but it's not as good as the first two seasons, and not as good as the first four Scream movies for sure. Uh, very, very underwhelming, predictable movie. Just disappointing. I wish it would have been so much funnier, too. Because that was the thing that Scream had that was special, was it had this really funny meta sense of humor. And it's not like this film doesn't have it. It does. But it's missing, like, that visceral kick where it, this originality. And there were uses of it that were original in this movie that I thought were genius. Like... There's a scene where a character basically looks up on IMDb, like, cheating, looking up answers. And I was so happy to see that. But the movie is just too safe, too predictable, just disappointing. I would have liked more risks. I heard a lie, actually, told to me several times that a certain someone was in the movie that was not in the movie. But actually, someone else was instead it actually ended up being the case. I won't say who was or wasn't, but just letting you know. So I'd probably give this one, like, a 6 out of 10, maybe a 7 out of 10. I feel like I need to rewatch this one now and figure out how I feel about it. I think a 7 out of 10, where it's, like, it's deeply flawed. It's still, like, decent, but it's not great. It's not as good as everyone said it was, but it's still all right. But yeah, I'd still recommend it if you're a fan of the franchise, but don't expect anything too special. I was expecting, like, some wild, like, people coming back from the dead stuff. That was what I was told happens in the movie, and what the trailers led me to believe would happen. And I was expecting this one to not take itself seriously at all, and it takes itself much too seriously. The cinematography is kind of bland in it. Uh, the char- the new characters are kind of bland. Even the old characters, as they call them, legacy characters are kind of bland. I just wish it would have used the elements it brings up more often. Like, for it calling out, like, all these better films, like, Elevated Horror, for it calling out, like, how good they are, it didn't use any of them even slightly, because it would say, oh, that would make the movie suck, it would make it not scream movie. Not necessarily, you can make it still a scream movie, and still use these elements of the movie, because why else reference, like, how the horror genre has changed if you're not gonna tap into a little bit of that and be original? Like, the film is talking about how, like, ugh, there's no originality these days, but then it ceases to do anything new or original, and it's like, it, it, it loves how much it's not doing anything original. It just feels like Matrix Resurrections all over again, and nobody liked Ra- Matrix Resurrections, except for some critics and some audiences that were huge fans of the franchise. So, like, it's an enjoyable watch for sure, but I'm, like, kind of angry <laughs> as a huge fan of the franchise. <laughs>